No, do you know what? They wouldn't. They're so, I used to work with this Italian guy, Luigi, and they're so, just when you think you're doing really well or something, and you think, oh, I've made the best ravioli ever, um, they'll turn around and say, no, it's rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> it's rubbish, and they'll tell you, you need another 20 years' practice. Or something. So do you not think, though, they keep their best secrets to themselves? They keep um, their produce to themselves. Yeah, yeah. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> there's, there's a certain degree of that. Right, a bit of Parmesan cheese and going in there. Do you season it? That's always good about yeah. pimentos, it takes, it takes quite a lot of salt, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, but I've got obviously a lot of uh, cheese going yeah. in there. Give it a pinch, I suppose. Thanks for the <laughs> On a tray. Ta da Okay, just to smooth that over, set it up in the fridge. I mean, overnight would be good, or a good few hours. I reckon just just until it's um, set up because as I said it's going to deep fry it so it's got to hold its own shape so and right okay so that's going to sit in there a couple of hours just to, until it's like that really okay so this is one there turn it out lovely okay I want some nice little shapes um, Pane basically, flour, egg, and crumb. Obviously, using polenta crumbs uh, to keep it in the same vein as uh, as what we're doing. Zero zero flour, which is plain flour. Egg crumb. And then when I get those in, I'm going to crack on the salad. S stick them in the deep fat fryer, or the, the hot oil, and hope they don't explode. And keep one hand free and clean. Beautiful. How can you tell if it's hot enough, Matt? I never know. Well, it's, I mean, you, you can just kind of see. I mean, this I'd probably do at about 180 or so. Okay, so salad. I got some pre cooked asparagus, raw beans, obviously new in season. Pea shoots. Pea shoots are delicious. Um, this is the new trendy thing, isn't it? Is it? Well, I keep reading about them and I haven't cooked with them yet, well, so that must mean that they're trendy. And I can't see anywhere to buy them either. Okay. Plant is nearly cooked. And hopefully it should be nice and squadgy in the middle. Um, squadgy, is that what well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And it's good, I mean this is the sort of thing we do at the restaurant. Um, it's a good, a good vegetarian option that can be translated as the season goes on. Let's have three of those. Okay. See, I wouldn't have got a pudding polenta with ingredients that were as light as that. I always think of polenta with things like wild mushrooms or well, gorgonzola. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of traditionally the, the, the thing. You, you serve it with like a braise, don't you? Mm, that's that's, you know, that's sort of a nice summer dish. So a little that's bit nice of... finishing it with zest. That's lovely. Well, it's all, they're all very clean flavours. It's got a nice little bit of ricotta here. Anyway, so that's my deep fried polenta, chips, little salad, broad beans and asparagus with some ricotta cheese. Mm. Mm -mm. Nice. Look at that, that's fantastic. <laughs> Here we go. Matt's generous chunky chips. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely with that kind of crispy outside yeah, and soft problems. inside. It's very Has good. it convinced yeah. you that you can get away with using quick cook blender <laughs> on occasion? <laughs> on he, occasions. He's cooking it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's delicious. Great combination. Now, to make my lovely crispy polenta chips, get yourself some quick cooked polenta. To flavour, you'll need some parmesan, rosemary, garlic, veg stock, and some double cream to thicken. For the chip coating, you'll need some flour, eggs, and a little bit more polenta flour. For the salad, pick up some fresh broad beans, asparagus, and pea shoots, and a sprig of tarragon. And to finish the dish, get some creamy ricotta, a lemon, and some olive oil.